thank you for coming back to the channel uh, sometimes you do things you really don't want to do. This is one of those times where I'm going to be tearing into this thing knowing that I don't have the money to fix it. That's why this is just a facts finding mission. If you watched the last video, you know what the symptoms are. What I'm going to do here is I'm, I got to take this entire air cleaner system off because it can't be there to get to the valve cover. So I got to take the air cleaner housing off. I gotta take this off. I gotta take this off. I'm gonna go ahead and take this air charge cooler line off only to make it easier on myself. It's not in the way of getting the valve cover off, but for me standing there and getting up in there, being able to stand on the frame, if this is not there, it's gonna make it easier for me to be able to stand there. Now, I should not need to take anything to do with the radiator the top hose or the top line alternator none of that stuff i should have to mess with whatsoever wiring i should not have to mess with that because when i unbolt the valve cover it'll come up out of there the other side the air charge cooler line it's not going to be in the way either the air cleaner housing and all the duct work for the air cleaner housing is in the way okay i'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera off right now i'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff off that i just mentioned i'm gonna use a quarter inch impact with a quarter inch drive socket and i should be able to have this off in just a few minutes as you can see i've got the air cleaner housing all the duct work that was attached to it off i gotta take this bracket off this one over here will be fine the valve cover will come up over it but this one because it's the way it's angled it's actually over the edge of it so i i gotta take that one off which ain't no big deal i mean just two bolts there but these 60 series valve covers are not bolted down a whole lot they're fairly easy you got one bolt there and this one actually still has the original covers you just pull these out you got a bolt there pull this one up you got a bolt there and then in the back just like the front you're going to have a bolt back there so there's only four bolts holding this whole valve cover on it's more getting to it than getting it off once you get those four bolts out you might have to stick a pry bar or, or screwdriver down there to break the seal because if it's been there for a while it's going to be a little stuck if it hasn't been there for years chances are you'll be able to just grab it and pull it up so i'm going to go ahead take those two bolts out and i'll go ahead and take that bracket off and then i'll take those four bolts out and then we'll pull the valve cover off and we'll see if we can see anything down in there i have my doubts if i'm going to physically be able to see anything because i'm thinking probably the injector these are valve cover bolts like i said there's only four of them they got this big rubber piece to help hold the valve cover down once you get them loose and i'm just using a quarter inch impact with a 15 millimeter Sometimes the rubber will come out with them and sometimes it'll just stay in there. It don't matter either way. You want to get the bolts out of there so they're not interfering. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera off and go ahead and if it doesn't lift right up out, which we can try that right now, see. Yeah, I'm going to have to stick a screwdriver down in there and go ahead and get it to free up just like that. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to lose the bolts that I got sitting on there. But as you can see, I've already had it moving. It's a little hard to do with one hand. But, and of course when I go back, I, no matter when I go back, you're going to have to replace the valve cover gasket because I can guarantee this valve cover is been on here for a minimum of six years that's be also because i don't have a history before i got it i've had the truck for like five years so i don't know when the last time somebody was actually in the motor i'm gonna go ahead and pull the valve cover all right i got the valve cover off gasket off and there's a few things that tells me somebody else has been in this motor one the age of it 1988 somebody's probably been in this motor several times number two i have a friend that works at freightliner and he works on detroit's all the time 
and he informed me that Detroit uses gray forma gasket silicone. He said they never use blue. Well, somebody used blue silicone down in there to help hold the gasket in place while they were putting it in. So that tells me that somebody's been in here and reused the gasket because a brand new gasket should fit into that groove and stay in there as you're setting it down. Okay, now for the reason we got in here, right here's the injectors. And looking at everything, I am not seeing any springs broke. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anything broke at all. That doesn't mean I'm not missing something. But from what I can see, everything is looking good. And I dropped the leaf down in there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any issues whatsoever. More than likely, it's the injectors or the injector wiring harness. And I've already, it's already been recommended that I change the wiring harness first. With the age of the truck and not knowing the history, I'm leaning towards the injectors. And if two went out that quick all at the same time it's a good idea a great idea to change all six injectors and when i was looking online a cheap set of injectors is like over three thousand dollars and i don't think i'm going to get very far with 15 bucks this is pretty much all the further i'm going because i don't want to take the rail off for the simple reason i don't want to leave and sitting outside for an unknown amount of time right now i can put the valve cover back on and go ahead and close the hood and keep it out of the weather. Well, I appreciate you coming along for the ride. Look while we tear this thing apart. Uh, I hope everybody's having a better day than me. But go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And the subscribe button. And come on back for whatever we get into next. Thank you and have a great day.